Hi people, uh, this is a topic uh, ionic ferromax. So, as a few of you will know that ionic ferromax is used for mobile developments. So, what is the special in the ionic ferromax? So, how can we can use it in ionic ferromax? What is the advantages? What is the disadvantages? How the ionic ferromax is key here? Uh, so, we can uh, discuss some of the information so that you get an idea about the ionic ferromax uh, in better way in this video. So before going for the ionic framework, so what is the mobile applications? So what are the things was there in the mobile applications? As we know, everyone are using mobile applications in daily life. As a child, from child and from here to the young people, everyone using the mobile applications without any um, struggles. So mobile applications is easy to use and more comfortable than than our web applications. So whereas we have a mobile applications, as you know everyone have the own mobile phone. As someone have the Android mobile mobile phone and someone has an iPhone mobile phone. So how can we can develop for a mobile application for um, both devices? Okay. So this you no know, before going for this uh, different operating system, we can see the what are type of mobile application was there. First we know that we have native applications. And then web applications and hybrid applications. So, what is mean by native application means? Uh, when you uh, have a new mobile phones, they have a major application will be developed with the native applications. Then, what is the what is the native applications uh, we discuss means? It is nothing but we can use the uh, hardware components of mobiles without any restrictions. Without any restriction, we can use our mobile applications. So, whereas in web application, we have some restriction in using of our resources. But we can pro provide uh, awesome styles in the web applications. So, so in uh, in order to combinations of the uh, native and web application, the hybrid application was introduced. So, first we going to see about the native applications. What is the native applications here? So, as we know, uh, our uh, native application for an Android we use in a language is called Java. Okay. Whether it's in uh, iOS, we use in an Objective or Shift language. So it's the language which be varied. So the developers will learn to know more number of languages in order to develop the native applications for different operating systems. This is one of the uh, face a difficulty in a native application. So what is the uh, advantage in the hybrid applications, which is faced in the native application, means the combination of native and application is in uh, to provide a hybrid application. How it is possible means basically this work has a simplified web browser. Our hybrid application will like a, a basically simple web browser on above the browser our code HTML code will be run in the uh, browser. So, so it is basically hybrid app developed with the languages called JavaScript, HTML and CSS. As of now, this is most simplest languages I even uh, school students can learn in the HTML. So this language can be used in the Ionic is uh, more interesting and more happy to use to them. So everyone easy to learn the HTML. So it is uh, no worry about the language, how the language will be there. So it's no worry about it. It is easy to learn the HTML languages. Okay. So performance is probably because this one is a hybrid because the HTML and JavaScript when it comes to together, it gives us some lags, it's a minute lag of uh, performance. But uh, other than that, the Ionic Frameworks applications is more fantastic. So, what is an uh, Ionic Frameworks uh, which helps to develop on hybrid applications with the various platforms? As of now, I'm told uh, if I want to uh, develop on a native application for a two different operating system, I have to learn the two different programming languages. For an Ionic, I think only learning of languages called HTML, JavaScript is alone to enough and uh, an AngularJS also we use to include to dynamic data populator. We use this side of simple languages to develop an Ionic framework. So good news to have it. So Ionic framework as uh, told before leave, the Ionic will be developed to application for uh, Android and as well as iOS. Whereas uh, the other language uh, mobile house of that for Ubuntu, Mozilla, Blackberry, Windows also they are providing support in a future. So as of Ionic is came, suddenly they introduced Ionic 2 also. 
because of this annular JS2 was introduced in, so they have to move to the ionic 2. So in ionic 1, they are using annular JS, in ionic 2 they are using annular JS2. So other than that, they include the uh, CSS component which is not present in the ionic 1. Okay. What are the difference means? Then in Android mobile, the ionic uh, 1 is possible. The, whereas ionic 1 is not possible in iOS 2 and iOS 3. Uh, which is not possible means the native scrolling, we call it as the uh, while refreshing the page will st scroll down. That functionality was not there in iOS and window phone when you develop an, an hybrid applications in an ionic 1. It can be overcome in the ionic 2. So this is some of the examples for the hybrid applications. There are Uber applications and uh, Twitter and then this uh, X code, not X code, this is a uh, Play Store app. This is an uh, Evernote application. These are the real time example which is developed in the Ionic frameworks. So, I think the Ionic frameworks, uh, learning the Ionic frameworks is very easy, and even the uh, uh, students, school students also can be able to as of now at all. HTML language is uh, learned by the school days. So, this can be used in here. It is more helpful to learn and easy to understand and you can also develop in some own applications and put it on your play store or on uh, iTunes we can put our own app in the market okay so guys keep learning the uh, new technologies and equip yourselves and, uh, and improve your career towards this uh, improved technologies is more helpful and uh, all the best for your career thank you